Happy Saturday, everybody. This is Eric in the card closet. Thanks for joining me tonight for another video. It's video 305, 305. So our guest for this video will be Mr. Hank Aaron with a career batting average of 305. So Hank will be watching in today. Basically a mail day. I've been getting a number of things that I haven't shown for a while. I want to get you caught up on what's been coming in here. Um, start off probably with the best one. This just came today in the mail. This is a 1949 MP and Company of Ted Williams. Really, really tough to get these graded because they were hand cut. They're almost always authentic according to the ad and I haven't looked it up to verify it but according to the description of the auction this is the second highest graded one of these in existence by SGC I had a price I was willing to pay for this in any condition including raw and this is uh, this fell within that price range usually not important to me to get high grades on cards but uh, this one just kind of fell to me. And the exciting thing about this card is that 1949 is now knocked off my list of career Ted Williams player run. I've got one year left, and I'll have his entire playing career covered with cards every year. So one more to go. I'm going to have a big celebration when I knock that one out. It'll probably be a while. <laughs> All right, here's some other stuff coming in. I won a contest at Fairweather Cards. Shout out to Fairweather Cards. Autographed John Olerud on the Blue Jays card. Very, very cool. Did get one more of the rainbow for Mosaic. For Chris Sale, this is the fluorescent pink. Number to 10. So I think I'm down to, oh, I don't know, three, four, five left of these to go out of 20 some. Lots of colors in this rainbow. For my set build, I picked up a 1972 Jack Party, or maybe it's Party. -E. Some throw-in cards. Got a Gary Sheffield on the 1962 design. Jeff Bagwell on the 57 design. 57 design. There's a Greg Maddox on, on the 83 design. Libra Torres on the 2011 design. Some shiny basketball coming in, putting together the Silver Prism team set that uh, just came out for last year, but it just came out this summer. So, wow, I'm having some focus issues here. Sorry about that. Here is LeBron James. And also picked up Rajon Rondo. Kind of weird to be picking up cards for players that are no longer with the team you know, as a Laker, but in a jersey before they got to the Lakers. That's how late this set is in coming out. And then again, that, that seller threw in some cards here. Here's a Power in the Paint, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And he threw in this Kobe White Elite. Very pretty card. And then he threw in this Donruss Franchise Features from Panini Live. Ja Morant. So very cool. I like all those cards. Clear out a little space here. 
The next couple things I show are going to be minor league cards. So if you're not into minor league cards, hey, I understand. You're excused. <laughs> but I picked up the minor league cards for the Wusta Woo Sox. It came in this big box. So here's my hand. That gives you a size, gives you an idea of the box. And it was this. This wrapped in the little bubble wrap in this big old box. So let's open it up and see if we recognize any of the players from the Red Sox AAA affiliate in Worcester, Massachusetts. Not a lot of familiar names. Tristan Cassis, he's a familiar name. I like that bat flick, bat caught in the midair like that. He's been on some uh, prospect cards for the Red Sox. He's a big boy. He's like 6'5", 250, 6'4", 250. Working his way up. He's having an average year. Good power numbers. Low average. Franchi Cordero. He is leading the team in batting this year. I think he's batting 325 right now. Cutter Crawford, one name. Big team set. I think it's like 40 some cards. Jeter Downs. He was he's batting under the Mendoza line. Has some good uh, power numbers. Been in the majors for a while and uh, not even batting 200 in the majors either. Jaron Duran, he's gotten almost 200 at bats in the majors this year. Looks like flipping the bat is a common theme here. But yeah, Duran's having a decent year. Ronaldo Hernandez, I think, is leading the team in home runs. In fact, yeah, they got him from Tampa Bay. That's what I was thinking. Brian Keller. Connor Siebold, he's uh, been at the Major League level this year for a while. I think his ERA is right around a dozen. Not having a good year. Christian Stewart, that name rings a bell. Is he from... No, he's a minor leaguer all along. Never mind. Connor Wong, I think he's on a couple Red Sox cards that I've picked up recently. Pitching coach Paul Abbott, you probably remember him if you're as old as me when he played in the majors. Brendan Connolly, Rich Gedman, former coach, or a former catcher of the Red Sox, now the head coach, the manager. Or no, he's the hitting coach, not the head coach. Here's the manager, Chad Tracy. And then you got to love it with the minor league cards. You get the mascots. So the Pawtucket mascot is gone. Hopefully it's the same person inside the Worcester mascot. And then I also got from the Greenville Drive, which is the high A affiliate for the Red Sox. And they sent me this uh, team set for this year. And uh, came in this nice looking bag. 
We'll take a look at this steam set as well. This is, you know, high A, so it's under Worcester and it's under Portland. So it's their third team down in the minors. We'll see if we recognize anybody here. Might be a long shot. Go a little faster. Nothing looking familiar yet. Uh, Matthew Lugo. I don't believe he's the son of Julio Logo, Lugo, but he is the nephew of Carlos Beltran. I do know that. Nick York, uh, I think it last year or the year before, he was on several Red Sox prospect cards. Surprised that he's still down in single A. And the manager, Iggy Suarez. I think he played Major League Ball. Name sounds familiar. Well, it says he reached AAA Pawtucket 2009, so he probably is familiar from minor league sets that I've got. Uh, Kipper. Joe Cronin, you know, here's a 2022 Joe Cronin card. And a trainer card. No mascot card, but we've got uh, two trainers here, Stacy and Jimmy. Strength coach and athletic trainer. Another cool thing about minor league sets is you get some of those people in the sets. Very important to the team. So that's it. All caught up here. Hope you're having a great weekend. Once again, we'll say goodbye with Mr. Aaron. Talk to you later.